Namaste. In this session, we are going to look at the Cole's learning cycle. We need to understand that learning process is about grasping some information, means collecting some information and doing something about it, means transforming that information. There are different ways people grasp or transform the information. So, people grasp information through concrete experience, but we also grasp information by abstractions, by reading, by observing and seeing the pattern in those observations. So, that is abstract conceptualization. Transformation of that information which we grasp also can go through a two different processes. First is when we grasp the information, we can actively experiment that information, we actively use that information or we just observe that information from a different perspective and that process is called reflective observation. A learning cycle goes through all four stages. So, a, a cycle can start from any point of time, Cy a learning cycle can start at any point of learning, may be observation, may be experiment, may be ab abstract conceptualization or concrete experience, but it is supposed to go through all the four stages to complete the learning process. Let me give you one example for this. As a kid, we all might have great affection and attraction towards the flame. As grown up also, we must have seen some of our, some of the kids around us are interested in the flame and they want to touch that flame. Obviously, mothers are concerned about that tendency because if child is interested and attracted towards the flame and if she try to touches that, it will hurt her. So, many time mothers do a trick, they put a chimta or one utensil in the fire and that increases the temperature of that object and ask the kid to touch that. A kid when touches that object, he feels the warmth or he experience the hotness of that object and that becomes his concrete experience. On that experience, he reflect and observe that flame might be something which can hurt and this is certainly which, which is hot and then the child starts connecting the dots and starts seeing the different forms of the flame maybe in the Lalten, in gas stove, in some lighter or electric bulbs, heaters, all that and the same and the child is able to make a abstraction or abstract conceptualization that uh, there are the, the flame or the hot objects emit light that might look attractive, but because of the high temperature, it may hurt. And the same child when grows up, start playing with the crackers, because now from the concrete experience, the child has made the observations, how it may hurt, what, what might be hurtful in touching the uh, objects of fire. And then this child becomes expert and skill in using those objects in the form of crackers. So, a learning cycle requires all the four steps, but as we grow up, we develop our affection and our inclination towards one or other aspect of the learning cycle. We may start doing we may have inclination towards con concrete experience more than reflective observation or abstract conceptualization or active experimentation. So, as a result of that, our unique styles starts emerging. So, in the next part of the session, you will be asked to complete the 12 sentences, each is accompanied with the four endings. 
you have to mark the endings for each sentence according to how well you think each one fits with how you would go about learning something. So, try to recall some recent uh, situation where you learned something new, then using the space provided mark the four for the sentence ending that describes how you learn the best. So, you need to understand that this is not the ranking process, it is actually giving some points, giving some marks to the four options and you give highest mark that is four, you give highest point that is four to that sentence ending which is closest to you, which you practice most often and then you have to write down or give the uh, point one to that sentence ending that seems to be least like the way you learn and then after that after marking 4 and 1 you give 2 and 3 to other uh, uh, two remaining sentence endings. So, uh, be sure to rank all the endings for each sentence unit and please do not make the ties. So, this is the learning style inventory you might have you must you might have noticed in your notes and um, take 10 minutes or sorry take few minutes to mark your response on this inventory. After marking all the responses you do the summation you do the column wise summation and when you do the column wise summation you get C you get four scores related to C, RO, AC and AE. C, R, O, A, C and A are the acronyms of the concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization and active experimentation. So, you need to pause at this moment, take the inventory and then we will move on to the next step. Okay. So, uh, let us discuss the different components of the learning cycle. The first component we discussed is concrete experience. We are discussing concrete experience first that does not mean that all the learning starts with concrete experience. I must remind you that learning can start at any stage or any point any four any of the four points of the learning cycle. So, concrete experience is a stage of learning cycle that emphasizes the personal involvement with people in everyday situation. In this stage you tend to rely more on your feelings than on systematic approach to problems and situation. So, if so at this stage you need to look at your four scores. If your score, if you are the one whose C score are highest in comparison to three other scores, then you are the kind of learner who requires more personal involvement in the learning process. For you emotions are important, for you it is important not only the knowledge of the teacher, but the teacher, but the how teacher make you feel in the classroom. So, you can imagine your learners some of the some of your learners may also have C scores high for them your personal involvement is extremely crucial is very important your emotional engagement is very important for them. It may not be as important to other students, but those students, those participants in our class who have high score on C and there would be some participants who would have that high score on C will value their personal involvement and the emotional connect with the teachers more than other students and other participants. Now, you look at your RO scores. Those of you who have highest score in RO reflective observation, they tend to they are able to look at one problem from multiple perspectives. They perform very well in the brainstorming exercise, because when they are good at generating options. In this stage of learning cycle, which is about reflection and observation, people understand ideas and situation from different point of view. In a learning situation, you would rely on patience, objectivity, careful judgment, but would not necessarily take any action. So, you might have seen some of the learners who just observe and do not plunge onto some solution. 
they do not plunge onto the answer of the situation, answer of the problem or answer uh, closer of the problem. They are more interested in looking at that problem or looking at the phenomena from different perspectives. That is naturally high in some people, but it is inevitable in all of us to some degree for completing the learning cycle. Then third stage is called abstract conceptualization. This stage is about learning which using logic and ideas rather than feeling to understand the problem or situation. So, typically you would rely on systematic planning and develop theories and ideas to solve the problem. So, if you have high score on AC and you can imagine that your participants also can have high score on AC, some of the participants will have high score on AC, they are the learners, they are the participants who look for models, theories, concepts and that helps them to learn better. If they get only experience, if they only are asked to observe and reflect and they are not provided with some concepts or theory, they feel unfulfilled, they do not feel com they do not feel their learning process complete. So, in some of us this tendency is higher. However, I must repeat that for a learning cycle to complete, it has to be there in some degree or some amount in all of us about anything we wish to learn. Then comes the stage of the active experimentation. Learning in this stage takes an active form, experiment with experimenting with influencing or changing situation. So, you would take a practical problem and be concerned with what really works as opposed to simply watching a situation. You value things done and seeing the result of your influence and ambiguity. If I, if my scores are highest in A in comparison to three other scores, I tend to ask one question more often than others and that question is so what, where I will use this information, where this information can be useful, can I start a company, can I do something about when I know what I did not know before. So, active experimentation stage of learning is about identifying the practical uses of what you have grasped. Uh, so, these are not the styles, these are the different stages and if you have higher and we inevitably some all of us have one something preferred over other. So, you can connect that if you are high on A then you will be asking more so what questions. If you are high on C, then for you experimentation is good enough. Experimentation, if you are high on C, concrete experience is very important for you. If you are, if your scores are highest in RO, that means you are the kind of person who is good at observation, who is good at looking at things from multiple perspective and able to generate lot number of questions in comparison to others who have not as high a score in RO as you have. So, this is these are the four components of the learning style. The combination of the abstract uh, of the grasping and transforming giving the uh, style of learning. So, if I am the kind of learner who is high on abstract conceptualization and active experimentation in comparison to their counterparts, then with this learning style the best. Uh, so, people with this learning style are best at finding the practical uses of ideas and theories. If this is your preferred learning style, you have to you have the ability to solve the problems and make decisions based on finding solutions to questions or problems. So, convergers are those who have high AC and high AE and they are the people who are good at finding the practical use of the ideas and theories. Whereas, divergers who are high on C and RO are different from convergers, because divergers are the people who are best at viewing the concrete situation from many different points of view and their approach to situation is to observe rather than to take action. So, if this is your style, you may enjoy situations that call for generating wide range of ideas 
as in brainstorming sessions. The, this imaginative ability and sensibility to feelings is needed for effectiveness in art, entertainment, service careers, etcetera, where people can look at how a whole experience can be different for my audience. Third style, which is the combination of the abstract conceptualization and reflective observation is called assimilator. Assimilator people with this learning style are best at understanding a wide range of information and putting it into a concise, a concise logical form. This is, if this is your style, you probably are less focused on people and more interested in the ideas and the concepts. Generally, people with this learning style find it very important, more important that a theory have a logical soundness than practical value. So, for them logical sound, soundness, logical sequencing is more important than its practical use. So, assimilators are like this and then comes the accommodator. The accommodator style emerges when you have highest scores on concrete experience and active experimentation. People with this learning style have the ability to learn primarily from the hands on experience. If this is your style, you probably enjoy carrying out plans and involving yourself in new and challenging experiment, experiences. In solving problems, you may rely more heavily on people for information than on your own technical analysis. So, these are the four styles of learning, which are the combination of the our tendency for grasping and transforming information. 